all right what is up guys dude guys we are back with the webcam thank you so much for letting me know um your thoughts on the webcam thing so it's on we're in so this video today is going to be about throws what we could do with throws um you know some some nice little things that we could do with throws and what really what good things we have towards throws and stuff like that. This was requested by Takeroman91, so shouts to him. Let's go ahead and get started. First things first, let's begin with his back throw. His back throw is, to be honest, my favorite throw. My favorite throw is back throw. I just love the, the knockback and how you can, it just feels like you have more to work with than the forward throw. And let me show you why. So back throw into dash attack, you can, pretty much get as long as they don't actually tech the ground which is really good it's a quick 24 percent so that's one thing to to really note uh forward throw is kind of weird like if you did forward throw you can't really get a dash tech out of it because they can already um they're already standing on the ground as you can see he's already standing on the ground but with the back throw he's not so notice how he lands on his back. He has to tech that. Because if he doesn't, you can get a down air, which is Ally's favorite. You can also get a sticky, as you can see there. You can jab lock as well, as you just saw there. You can do something like that. Not forward smash though, because forward smash is kind of laggy. You can do like a down smash. Anyways. That's why I love back throw, because they have to tech. Forward throw, they kind of don't. I don't believe they do as well as a higher percent. Okay, so at a higher percent they do, but just not at a at a low percent. When to use back throw? Back throw, I, I just love to get people off of the stage with them. Or if there's like a C4 here, let's say. Uh, that's, that's one thing that you probably want to look into as well. Like if you have an explosive somewhere around here, you know, it, you have to really know your knockback. And it, to me, personally, back throw is just easier to hit those rather than forward throw. I just feel like with forward throw, your opponent has a lot of reaction time, a lot of time to actually react out of these. So that's what I personally um, would say. Now, the other one is up throw. Up throw is okay to me it's not really something that i do or most snake players i see do unless you get them at zero percent or like zero to ten, maybe 10 or 15 percent depending on the character you get an up throw into an up tilt that's really all you can get some people claim you can get you can get a up throw into a a down air i mean on the combo counter it says six but i don't know specifically if this is something you can actually land if so, please let me know in the comments down below, guys. Um, best thing, though, up throw into up tilt. That's the main thing you're going to see. Up throw into up tilt. And then back throw, dash attack. Or again, back throw, down air. And you can even follow that up, too. If they don't tech again, you can hit them with another one. That's one thing Ally does a lot. Ally loves his down airs. So if you guys want to be like Ally, go ahead and... Use those down airs or something. Mm. Now, the next one is forward air. Again, I never really use forward air. The only time I'll use forward air is that if they're at like a really high percent and I just want them to be off stage to take advantage of their recovery to actually use a Nikita on them, then yeah, okay, I'll forward throw them off. But if they're like on the stage here, I won't forward throw them. I will always back throw. The back throw just feels, it just feels much better to me. It's what I'm personally more comfortable with. Everybody has their own preferences and that's personally mine. Now down throw is obviously, you know, the kingpin of throws. He lays them down. Your opponent has only about four or five options to really move, whether it's get up, roll back, roll forward, delay, or get up attack. Really only five options. Now that's gonna be in a separate video because that is very, very in-depth um, as far as what we could do with that specific down throw. Down throw is a huge thing. 
anyways the the major thing for now in this video that you guys must know is that when your opponent is at 160 as noted by Gimmer and previous videos of mine and probably other videos and even tournament videos when commentators say so as well when your opponent is at 160 and you down throw him you get an immediate up till free of charge buy one get one half off whatever up till including the package itself and it has to be at 160 it can't be 159.9 or less that also means if your opponent is at 150 and you do the grab and they're over one and they're 160 there that does not count you it, they have to be at 160 when you initiate the grab so you have to pummel them to 160 and then you get it so that's what you have to do always remember that they have to be at 160 when you do the down throw now there are some other ways of actually um, using your throws right and again that just really points out to to primarily your explosives knowing where your explosives is at you have to keep in mind of where your explosives explosives of are explosives are at so a big thing for me is platforms platforms are very easy to me let's say we got no, let's just say random let's just pick a random guy this is one of my biggest things and what i normally go for and that would be throw into c4 and then you can lead into a neutral air so that's one of my things that i like to do um not just mine but some other things that a lot of people like to do as well so and then you know once you're they're at a certain percent like the farther you kind of want to do it so if they're like at a low percent you kind of do it like a little close to it see but when they're at a higher percent you kind of want to stay a little bit farther from them um well you want to have them like a little bit far from the c4 i should say so like really, uh, if they're at, let's say about 70%, let's just say that. So they're about 70%, the C4 is here. She's gonna have to be a little bit more than that because he's on the stage. So if they're at 80 and you do it over here, let's say. Now that would have landed, but obviously I ran out of time there. See, like stuff like that. You have to keep in mind where your C4 is at and you have to make sure you're also using C4. You know, we don't really see, I, I don't really see a lot of snake players using C4. So C4 should be a big thing that's used. And that's also used towards other things too, like with with grenades. If you notice that you have a, a grenade right here, let's say, you try to like throw them into it or something, but you just have to be, you just have to be aware of what's around you. See, and then you can like lead into something. But normally I'll like have a grenade here like let's say I'll have a grenade here or something and then I'll throw them into it and then try to get an air or neutral air they would say same thing with the c4 that's really gonna be one of your your best combos or starting combos or whatever so that's that's another way to use grabs And you can always use a down throw to try to get them with the sticky or something. And again, with the back throw as well. If they're not teching, you can do stuff like that. I really hope this helps, guys. If there's any other things that I missed, please feel free to comment as you guys have always done. So thank you so much for that. If there's anything else that I could fix or improve on my, on my videos, definitely let me know too. I really appreciate the comment. The comments that you guys gave me as far as like the webcam and stuff like that so thank you guys again so much thank you for watching the video have a great rest of your day this is swiss i'm done here